Hey friends, if you integrate Playwright end-to-end -end tests in your CI-CD pipeline, there are usually two results. Either your test pass and everything is good to go, or they fail and they will block your production deployment. And this is good enough for this use case. But when you adopt Playwright and synthetic monitoring, you want to be very careful about failed test cases because they could cause a critical alert and a poor on-call engineer will have to jump out of bed. And this is where Checkly's new degraded browser check state comes into play. So if you want to learn more about this one, this video is for you. Let's go. We're here in my Checkly account. And as you see, I have an API monitor running that monitors our own API. I have a new multi-step check going that goes against the GraphQL API. I have here browser check, everything is green. And here we have Checkly app login that also includes degraded check runs. So let's have a look at what's going on. When we inspect the check results and go into this browser check, we see that here I had a bunch of degraded and failed results. And that's not because Checkly was having troubles, but rather because I was configuring this browser check. When we now want to look at these degraded results, we can click here and we see here that the check run for North California reached a degraded result. So let's have a look. When we go in, we see that it has the de degraded state. And when we scroll down, it is telling us that the login took longer than 10 seconds. The Playwright script powering this browser check will use the general test timeout to trigger critical alerts to tell that something is really not working. But also it uses Checkly's new degradation mechanism to switch the browser check results to degraded to maybe not send as critical alerts. And how does this work? I could now show you the final Playwright script, but I think it's more fun to build it up from scratch. When we look at my existing checks, we see again that we have here Checkly app login that already has degradation implemented, which is very clearly to see here. But also there's the normal Checkly app login, which only has the failed and the passed result state. So when we go in, we can have a look at this code. The test implements a general timeout of 30 seconds, then it navigates to checklyhq.com, then it clicks the login link, it fills in the login credentials that I have stored in environment variables, it clicks login, and then it waits and expects the whole dashboard table that included all the check runs to be visible. And to see if this really works, we can hit run script, and now headless Chrome is spun up in the Checkly infrastructure, and it will come back in a second. And here we go. On the left side, we see now all the Playwright instructions. We could watch a video or even better, we could access the trace file of this particular run and we can see what is going on and all the actions that Playwright took. If you're not familiar with Playwright trace files, they're like the Swiss army knife when you want to debug and see what is going on in your browser checks. You have access to the network, the browser state, the console and pretty much everything that Playwright is doing. So if you haven't used them, check them out. But let's write some code. To mark a browser check as degraded, you have to bring in a new package. Checkly Playwright Helpers is automatically included in the Checkly runtime, so you don't have to install it when you run things in Checkly. And it comes with a mark check as degraded method. So we can now go down here and we can say mark check as degraded and we can pass it a message just playing around. This string is whatever will appear in your check results when you reach the degraded state. But let's do a test run and see if this works. And here we go. Sweet. Our browser check test run now reached degraded and we could now save this, but then we wouldn't get out of this degraded state because we're calling it all the time. So let's add some logic. As a first step, we'll define a threshold value that we want to check against. So here we have login degradation limit and I define it to be 10 seconds. Then we can go into our player test case and we can get the start timestamp. So we're using here plus new date to transform it to a JavaScript number. And similarly, we can now at the end of the test case, so if everything went well, we can also define an end time, which also will be a number. And now that we have these two millisecond timestamps, we can write a simple condition and say, if end time minus start time, is greater than our login degradation, then we want to mark this check as degraded. And here we go. But let's clean this up a little bit. Let's say 
we call duration here, remove our small calculation here. Here we go. Now we can say duration is end time minus start time. Now we have a nice variable here and we can also adjust the message that we have here. So we can say login took longer than let's bring in the login degradation time and put into parentheses our duration. Here we go. And before we test it, let's add a console log to see if our logic is working properly. So let's run this again. And here we're back, we're having a green browser check. And when we go into the log results, we see that we were close on the threshold, but everything is green right now. So we better increase our threshold value by a few seconds. Let's go with 15 seconds here. And what we now achieved is that we have a browser check that navigates to checklyhq.com. It fills out the login. And then if this takes longer than 30 seconds, then it will fail. Or if anything broken in this test case, it will fail and will send a critical alert. But when this whole operation here takes longer than 15 seconds, we will get a warning or a degradation alert that we can then decide if this is critical or not. But there's one last step for this example. If you know Checkly, you know that you can run your browser checks from multiple locations all around the world. And these timings might vary depending on where the browser check is running from. The Checkly APIs are based in Europe, so a call from Frankfurt, Germany is rather quick. But when this browser check is, for example, running from Australia, there's a way higher latency involved. So how could you work around this problem? If you want to include region-specific code in your browser checks, you can rely on the process and region environment variable. So you see that I define a variable that is called can trigger degradation, and I'm filtering out the regions that start with US or with EU. Similarly, you could build up a config object that includes thresholds for all the different regions where your browser checks are running from. For me right now, I think this is good to go. And I'm not saying that the other regions are not important. It's just for this example. But when we now take this variable, we can bring it into our condition and we can say, if can trigger degradation and if the duration is longer than our threshold value, then we want to mark this check as degraded. And let's also add the region to our logging message. So when we now grab here the region, we include it in our degradation message. And let's also include the region in our console log statement over here. Now we are ready to go. Let's format this code a little bit so that it's easier to read. And now we can test this browser check running from Frankfurt, Germany first. And here we go, no degradation. And when we look into the logs, we see that the login took 8.6 seconds and was running from EU central run so let's close this again and now run this from a different location very far away. So let's go with Sydney and also run this browser check again. Let's see what we get. And here we are with the results from a browser check run from Sydney. So let's have a look at the logs. It's all green and we passed the threshold of 15 seconds, but we didn't send a degradation. So this looks good to go. We can now go to the settings, choose our locations where we want this browser check to run from. So let's take a US region, a EU region, and also Sydney because we just tested it. We can apply it close, save this check. And now we have synthetic monitoring, browser end-to-end -end monitoring from multiple locations. And if the login experience from the US or the EU will become slower than 15 seconds, I will receive a degradation alert. And then I will figure out if I need to act right away or if that maybe can wait until tomorrow. And I now showed you how you can mark check runs as degraded when your player ad runs are too slow. But similarly, you could test certain functionality of your apps and sites. And when non-critical features are not behaving as they should, you could also spare the on-call engineer a high urgency alert and maybe only send a degradation alert when non-critical issues are happening in production. And that's all I have for you today. I hope this is useful. Let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions, drop them below. And if you want to connect with the Checkly team, join our Slack community. We are a lovely bunch, I promise. And with this, I will see you in the next Checkly playwright or general video about shipping good stuff for the web. I will see you soon.